This is Andrew from Kite Army. I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the Ryobi 9-inch bandsaw. This one was purchased at Home Depot for $129. They have a very similar unit available at Sears. It's labeled as a Craftsman for around the same price. Just open the box and of course you've got the instructions. Here's your table. Some other pieces that I'm going to definitely need. Take that off. And there's the unit. Well, I just looked at the Ryobi operator's manual for the 9-inch bandsaw, and there's, it's, there's absolutely no information in there on how to assemble this thing. So we're going to go it alone here and figure it out. I think it's easy enough, but I'll walk you through those steps in this video. Here's what the saw looks like when you first take it out of the box. Some adjustments on the back here. All right, one of the most obvious things that needs to happen is you need to have the aluminum table put onto the unit. These guys right here are a little uh, like uh, fit right into tracks on the on the table, and then this loose bolt with a handle uh, goes into this hole here and locks it down. It looks pretty simple. Again, it wasn't described in the um, instructions, but that's what you get these days. So you can see those are those two guides. Here's the lockdown bolt. And if I just screw that in there a little bit, I think it should kind of secure the table. And there it is. So the table gets locked. The nice thing if you undo it, there's a little guide here. Now, here, this adjustment, this little red arrow here is supposed to tell you when you're at zero. Um, so you want to tune that to make sure that it's accurate. Okay, I'm going to go over some of the controls on the saw. You can see this is right behind uh, where you would cut. There's two, two dials here. These actually work in tandem. This one's the lock right here and this one raises and lowers. So let me unlock it. You can see it'll raise and lower um, the guide for the blade. All right, aside from these controls over here that adjust the height of and access to the blade, there's some controls that act that control the way the tension on the saw blade uh, behave and also the tracking of the saw blade. So here's the tension knob up here and you can see it's connected to this spring so it keeps tension on the blade so it won't just fly off the, the, the belt track here. In addition, you have this knob right here and what that does is it adjusts the tracking of that drive wheel. Okay, and, and you basically want to get the blade right in the center here of the wheel. So when you screw it in, it adjusts that way. When you screw it out, it lets it go that way. And last but not least is this control right here. This lowers and raises that drive wheel so that you lower it so you can install the blade. And then you let it go back up uh, so that it will tension the blade and run on the wheels. All right. I just put the blade in. What you do is you insert it all the way around here. You kind of have to feed it behind there, around the bottom drive wheel, through the table and up there. You have to take open this up to actually insert it. It's pretty easy, but I have to say because of the scale of this unit, where the blade is small and the drive wheels are small, it does take some tinkering. So what you do is you put the blade right here. You can see mine centered in that top drive wheel. You need to kind of spin it back and forth. Okay, if it's tracking true, it'll stay right in the middle, which mine is now. Now, if it's not tracking true, you go back here and adjust this knob. You don't do this hand. All right, I've got the belt tightened. Everything looks good. I've got it installed. I'm gonna hit the power now, and we're gonna see how it works. <laughs> tracking really good. Looking good down there. Okay, now it's time for me to tighten down the system and I'm gonna cut some wood for you. And this is the first time I've used it, so let's see what we can get. Okay. 
Everything looks good so far. Now let me try and cut some material. Beautiful job. Cut no problem. There's a the little piece I cut. 